Welcome to IHOP's Question of the Week. These are questions asked by students about Hilchot Brachot, Brachot questions that come up. Here's this week's question. Boys and girls, I have to show you something. I got a box in the mail. This big box, can I show you what was inside? Take a look at this. This is called a hydroponic garden. And inside here, if you look really closely, you can see that I've planted these little seed pods and they're already growing. If you look really closely, you can see the plants are growing under these domes. Those little beginnings of plants are gonna grow bigger and when they hit the plastic top, I'm gonna to open it and they're gonna grow tall. In fact, if you look at my box, it says that it's gonna grow really tall. Look at this. It says it's gonna grow cherry tomatoes, lots of them. I'm so excited because I love cherry tomatoes. But I'm wondering something. Since these plants are not growing in the Adama, since they're not in the ground, they're growing in water. Do you still make a Bore Pariha Adama when you eat the cherry tomatoes? If you peek in here, you can see that there's water in here, no soil. This whole plant, this whole planter is filled with water. There's no soil in here at all. I wonder what bracha you make on tomatoes that are grown in a hydroponic garden. That's an awesome and fun question. To answer it, let's take a quick trip to my favorite farm and one of the places where hydroponics was originally created. Welcome to the farms of the Negev and Chalu. The truth is this is a complex question and a source of great halachic discussion amongst today's contemporary rabbis. Some feel that all vegetables are subject to the bracha of hadama merely because they are meant to grow in the ground, while others feel that if it grows in water alone, it should be a shahakol. Most people make a hadama since it is vegetable grown. Join me next week for the IHOP Question of the Week.